Ciao, I'm Juliana from Hardcore Italians and you're watching Cook With Jean. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys at home one of the Calasciabetta's most favorite dishes and that is sauce with zucchini and potatoes. This is a recipe that I definitely wanted to do on Cooking With G because it's one of my favorites and I know it's gonna be all your favorites too. So if you wanna learn how to make it, then keep on watching. So because we're gonna be using zucchini in the sauce, you're going to need zucchini. And because I'm super lucky, my mother grows zucchini in our garden. So I ended up picking two zucchini out of the garden and cutting them into this bowl. This is about two zucchini. You're also gonna need about seven potatoes. Now these potatoes are just your regular old white potatoes that you can find at the grocery store. I cut them into smaller pieces and I did put them in cold water so that they don't oxidize. That's how they get all dark brown and icky looking. So we're just gonna make sure we put them in cold water so that doesn't happen. I'm using about half of one large sweet onion. This is just the taste preference that I have. So that is in this bowl right here. And in this little bowl, I'm using about three cloves of garlic. And here I have some sauce that we already made ahead of time. It's about two large cans of sauce. You're gonna wanna make sure that the sauce is a nice plain base because we're gonna be adding the zucchini and potatoes for it for taste. That's what this whole recipe is about. So make sure you have a nice base sauce to work with. And for our pasta choice, we're gonna be using Jamali, which means twins. So I have two, couldn't take one away from the other. Also starts with a G, so I'm about it. We love Jamali pasta and it goes very well with this recipe. So we're gonna be using Jamali. You can use anything else that you'd like, but I highly recommend using this for this recipe. Brown rice is also really good for this recipe if you're trying to be a little healthier, but you know, go big or go home, we're gonna be using Jamali. Also, I really wanna know if there's anybody else who's watching who has these bowls. I'd really like to know, so please comment down below. I feel like every Italian fan Family has these specific bowls, so please let me know. Since this is a cooking with G, we always take the edge off. So today I'm gonna be using quadratini to take the edge off. This is a find, actually. It's something that I've never had before. I always saw it at the grocery store and it looked so good. So I fell in love with them. It's made with 100% Italian hazelnuts and it is amazing. So if you wanna try this out, I highly recommend. It is definitely G approved. On the Elmo, we are going to start making the zucchini potato sauce. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is line the bottom of a pan about yay big with olive oil. So we're gonna turn it on to about a medium heat, a little lower, and pour this in there. Just line it nice and good. After your oil has heated up, you're gonna add all of your onions into the pots. Would you call this a pot? What would you call this? No, there's a pot. This is a pot? I feel like it's a pan pot. I feel like if a pot and a pan had a baby, it would be this pot. There we go. Now that our onions are nice and cooked down and a little softer and a little golden, we're gonna add in our garlic. Dun, dun, dun. Put that in there. Olive oil, onion, and garlic. That's like the holy trinity. Now that everything's getting nice golden brown and cooking down, didn't mean for that to rhyme, I'm going to add in the potatoes. So now this is gonna take a little bit. We gotta wait for the potatoes to cook down. So I'm just gonna salt and pepper them for taste. A couple here and there, some pepper. We're gonna add a little bit of salt, pop, 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 and mix it up. All right, we're just stirring it around, making sure everything gets nice and mixed in, you know, getting to know each other, just hanging out. Just having a good time on a with G. Mixing some olive oil with some garlic, with some onion. Added that salt and pepper, it's just getting, sorry, I'm all the stove. My mom's watching, I don't know if you figured that out by now, but Mike, say hi. Hi. <laughs> I asked her to be here because I didn't want to mess up the recipe, you know, put it on mine and like it be wrong, so I wanted her to make sure that she was here to correct me if I messed anything up. You're doing great. Thanks, Mom. After everything's mixed in pretty well, you're gonna add in some water. So after putting the two cups of water into this pot pan child, we are going to let it cook for like 15 minutes. I'm actually gonna throw a top on it so it cooks down. And then after that 15 minute goes by, we are going to add in the zucchini. Now we do the potatoes first because they're gonna take a little longer to cook down. So the zucchini take less time, we're gonna put them in after. 
Alright, so it's been about 15 minutes. My potatoes are definitely getting softer. We're gonna wanna add in our zucchini. Now, if you don't have a sauce that you're warming up just like us, like we already had it, you're gonna wanna make that sauce right now because the timing is gonna be perfect. So start making your sauce if you don't have some pre-made right now. We are going to add in our zucchini so it mixes in with our potatoes that are already being cooked right now. We're gonna add in our zucchini just like this. All right, so we're pouring another cup of water in there just so it's a little bit more moist and it has something to cook with. Okay, it's been about two or three minutes and that's when you know you're ready to add the sauce. So we're gonna just go ahead and ladle it so we don't make a mess. All right, I'm just gonna stir that all together. Now don't be scared if you see a lot of liquid in this. All the vegetables and the potatoes are gonna soak all this in and it's gonna cook down. Now this is optional, but highly suggested. We're adding in three basil leaves. Just gonna rip them up a little bit and add it right into our concoction here. Definitely adds a taste. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you add basil. And we're just going to mix it around. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. So good, I'm so hyped to eat this. I've been looking forward to this all day. This is one of my favorite things ever. I'm so excited you guys get to learn it too. I'm just gonna put the top on there and let it cook. Okay, so this has been cooking for probably like five or six minutes. At this point, after you taste it, it has like a tenderish touch, but it's not completely cooked yet, but it's halfway there. You're gonna start your water for your pasta. I'm gonna salt my water, as my mother and my nana always taught me salt your water, pour your pasta, it's like a magic trick, so make sure you salt your pasta water. All right, our water is boiling. I'm going to add the Gemelli Twins into it. Also, fun fact, I've always wanted twins. I don't know why, I've always wanted twins. It could be boy, girl, boy, boy, girl, girl, I don't care, but like, I've always wanted twins. It's a fun little fact about me. <laughs> but in the end, like, I just want healthy children, you know, whatever God wants for me. But for some reason, I've always thought about twins. Oh yeah, it's really cooking in there. The vegetables are starting to get nice and soft and cooked into the sauce. It smells incredible in my house right now. Also, the stove is just, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm being real messy here, so I'm gonna make sure my mom knows that I'm going to clean her stove. By the time the pasta's done, this guy's gonna be done as well. So we're just gonna give it like another seven, eight minutes, drain the pasta, and we're gonna check on it after. All right, our pasta is done. I'm going to strain it in my sink over here. And our sauce is pretty much done. It's starting to get super soft, super cooked in. I'm actually gonna turn off the heat on this guy and mix in our butter with our pasta over here. By the time this is mixed in, we're going to take our pasta, put it in a separate dish, and add all of our zucchini potato sauce into it. All right, all the pasta has been buttered. I'm gonna pour it into this really nice eggplant dish that my mom loves a lot. Right now you love this. I love my eggplant, She yes. loves this. Okay, so I'm gonna pour all the pasta into this bowl. Dun, 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 dun. There's all the jamelli. And then you're gonna take a ladle and you're going to cover all the pasta with this zucchini potato sauce that we've just created. So don't burn yourself. I'm gonna bring this right over here and we're gonna just slowly cover the jamelli with this incredible zucchini potato sauce that is smelling up my whole house and everybody in my house is drooling over it. So I have to do this kind of fast because this is our dinner tonight. This is our final product. We have our sauce created with zucchini, potatoes, all over jamelli, topped with a beautiful bouquet of basil leaves from my mother's garden. Not to mention these zucchinis were from my mother's garden. So this is just a big bowl of love right here. All right, now the moment we've all been waiting for, the taste test. But before we taste test it, I like my pasta with ricotta. So I'm going to go get some from the fridge really quick. Here it is. Just gonna take some ricotta cheese and I'm just gonna grab this nice corner over here and take a good old bite for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very excited. I can hear the hallelujah chorus. <laughs> Everyone in this kitchen is watching me because they wanna eat it so bad. But 
I'm gonna say thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, and I need to also tell you, this apron from Hardcore Italians really saved my butt. As you can see, my mother's stove is kind of a mess right now, and it's so good that I had this apron to protect me and my Hardcore Italians merch from the splashing sauce. So make sure you cop yourself an apron. Use my code G, literally just the letter G, for 10% off your entire purchase of Hardcore Italians. And make sure to comment down below if you end up trying this meal. Please tag me, DM me, I would love to see the finished product if you end up making it. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Ciao!